Hello, welcome to the market alert uh, for Friday, the 10th of November 2017. So the pound uh, sideways to lower uh, yesterday initially, then finding a bit of support before moving back to the upside. The announcement here uh, is, uh, or the price action is from the announcement that uh, uh, the Brexit day divorce uh, will happen at 11 p.m. Uh, to make the separation crystal clear, which means basically if we just move down here a little bit, uh, Brexit will officially uh, happen at 11 p.m. the day the Article 50 runs out. The government has signalled, it doesn't uh, obviously declared it, but they've signalled that this is going to be the case, and that's why you're seeing uh, this uh, bit of activity here. And of course, uh, this is uh, now settling in. I uh, got uh, quiet uh, on the overnight and then all of a sudden got a bit of activity here uh, this morning to the downside already. Uh, expect more of this as well going forward. Uh, you can see we've got the sideways move. The market's still below the uh, 20 bar average. We've also got the range of 130.174 and uh, 130.32 on the downside. It needs to be broken if the market's going to continue lower there. News-wise today, a little bit from the, the UK, we've got uh, goods uh, trade balance out at 9.30. got the manufacturing uh, production out also at 9.30. It's a bank holiday in the US for the Veterans Day uh, observations. And we've got uh, the prelim UM consumer sentiment at 3 p.m. When we say holiday in the US, uh, this one, this is just the federal government. That means that uh, bond markets will be closed, but stock markets will be open. And uh, speaking of the US, uh, yesterday, uh, interesting, at uh, last, some volatility and momentum. Market moved higher initially, ran into resistance at uh, the 23,500 level, and then sold off sharply. But uh, guess what? Plunge protection team in, sell the implied, um, not the implied volatility, the VIX, and bring the market back to where it uh, more or less uh, fell from. And if you look at the daily chart, you will see this uh, move huge uh, volume, long, uh, largest volume we've had for some time. Market sideways on the overnight. In order to move higher, the market's going to have to break uh, the high of yesterday's uh, price bar. I'm just going to drag this one out a bit so you can see that there. Let me just alter the chart uh, slightly as well. Let's just spread these out so we can see a bit more clearly. And also, uh, if I can draw this in, we'll have um, the market finding resistance at the 23.513 level as well. So the market uh, dropping down from that yesterday and it will find resistance as it moves up to there. So it's going to be an interesting one to actually look at this because if the market uh, does this, it starts to trade up to it, fails or goes through and then comes back, then we could see some more weakness. But at the moment, as I keep saying, they keep bringing the market back. They want the market higher and that's what they'll probably do until uh, uh, the, ne the new year now. Let's have um, a quick look at a few other things. Uh, as it uh, says here, the reason for the market moving lower was the tax uh, tantrum sparks a stock slump as credit crash continues. And that's in the bond market, of course, and the crash refers to the yields. If we look at the yield curve, which we're becoming familiar with in the market alerts, um, if we go back just to remind you, if the short term yields, that's the interest rate, is uh, higher whoops let's get the right one if it's uh, higher than the longer term you can see at the bottom there we've got the three month yield the 30 yield and if it's uh, the further out yields the 30 year is less than the near term then you have what's uh, known as an inverted rate flat market the yield curve flattening and um, we saw this happen on both occasions prior to the um, major corrections in the stock market which uh, you can see here and here in 2008. So fast forward 10 years 
and if we go to November of uh, last year which is just there this is when Trump came in stock markets been moving higher and if you look at the yield curve down in the bottom left you'll see that starting to rise and starting to flatten and uh, this is a major concern if this uh, actually ends up uh, higher than the 30 year again it's going to be uh, uh, sort of prescient that it, and a precursor that we will see the uh, stock market uh, starting to fall out of bed so keep an eye on the yield curve um, I've mentioned before where you can actually get it stockcharts.com free charts uh, forward slash yield curve dot php uh, where you know it's not something you have to look at every day but uh, at the moment the uh, the bond yields are taking a bit of a, of a hammering and then finally let's have a quick look at uh, the implied volatility before we conclude and on the implied volatility front uh, we've seen the market actually uh, move up slightly from 960 to 9.99 now given how much the market dropped yesterday and the speed with which it dropped you'd have expected this to have actually moved up uh, quite sharply but of course uh, the plunge protection team move in they buy the stock market and also sell the VIX futures and what do you get the volatility remaining down in the lows mission accomplished market back to normal nothing to see here move along usual story keep the market moving to the upside there so that's uh, it uh, for this one let's hope the may uh, the momentum that's uh, returned to the market will be maintained now even if they keep the volatility low i don't care as long as there's some sort of activity and some sort of decent moves because it's been incredibly quiet uh, for some time so let's hope this is the sort of the the break of it if they move the market to the upside that's fine to december not a problem as long as there's the momentum there to actually take advantage right that'll do it for this one as ever thanks for watching have a great weekend see you in the next one